Peacock Ridge Farm. I am so glad that you're here today. I am going to show you how to make the cutest cornucopia that you have ever seen. It is perfect for your holiday feast as a charcuterie board. You could have roasted vegetables coming out. You could use it for serving your rolls. And it is the perfect thing for your holiday feast. Come on, I'll show you how I did it. These are the items that I need to make my cornucopia. I have Grand's biscuit stew. This canister I'm just kind of using as my model to start wrapping my foil around so that I can get my conical shape for the cornucopia. I have foil, I have butter, and a baking sheet. Let's get started. I'm going to start my cornucopia by just wrapping the foil around this canister. I got heavy duty foil hoping that it would be a little bit stronger and hold up better. So I'm just going to fold my foil in half and just roll it up. I have a second piece of foil that I also folded in half. Now I'm just going to lay the canister on top of this piece of foil. And if you notice, I have about four inches extra on the end here. Just gonna wrap it. And then I'm gonna start to narrow it. I'm going to take a third piece of foil, fold it in half again. And now my narrowed area, I'm going to lay on it and wrap it. And again, make it even smaller. And I'm starting to get the shape of my cornucopia. I'm just going to reinforce my seams and start getting the shape that I want. And then I'm gonna take it off of my canister. As you can see, it's starting to look a bit like a cornucopia. Now I'm just going to stuff the inside with foil. The reason why I'm doing this is I want to make sure that it's strong enough that when I start putting the dough on, that it doesn't collapse. And I think it's looking pretty good. Now that I have the shape that I want, I'm going to go ahead and put it on a lined cookie sheet. I want to make sure that my cornucopia does not stick to my cookie sheet. Now I'm going to take my biscuit mix. I'm going to open it up and start wrapping. It is cut into small sections, so I'll just do a section at a time. I'm going to start at the very top. Just wrapping it around, get a good point, and just keep working it around. You want to make sure to just overlap it just a little bit and kind of tack it in place with your fingers. And you just want to keep going all the way around. Just going to brush it all over with some butter. The butter will give it a nice golden glaze. And now I'll just pop it in the oven for 25 minutes. And that's 
it. Isn't this so much fun? Your friends and your family are sure to love it. Thank you so much for stopping by today. I always enjoy our time together. Please follow me on facebook.com slash Peacock Ridge Farm, on Instagram at Peacock Ridge, on Pinterest, and YouTube. Blessings to you.